Okay, so we've just taken it off the machine and set aside from dealing with this, we are done with this sock. This sock is actually wear ready except for this. Now somebody wanted some information about this and so what I do is I take that long loop and I cinch it up. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to come in and I pick up, let's see, where are we? I'll pick up this top bar here. And what I'm doing is now I'm anchoring this to the sock itself. But I do that kind of twice. I pick up this, the next bar, the next stitch, and I do this. And now I just do just a quick chain for as many stitches as I want to do. And I actually like to do a lot because the more I can do, that means if I need to come back later and I need to fix this sock, that I'm going to have a goodly little length. I'm going to have 8, 10, 12 inches of fiber to work with. So I make my tail long and I make a whole bunch of little tiny stitches. Yeah, I know it seems ridiculous. No, I never feel it. Occasionally does one try to wiggle out of the hem on my mock ribs, on my two, one by one mock ribs. They do on this uh, four by one. They don't. Strange. I don't know why. It just doesn't. I was going to say, I've put them through the wash and I've never noticed any of it, any mm -hmm. like ever. Yep. So now I have this really long tail, right? But the reason I want to leave some of this is so when if I need to, I can literally come back in here later and I can pull this apart. I can take it out and I can cut off whatever I need to fix my sock. So what I mean by burying it, see here's my hem. I just get in here and I don't want to go too far. But then I go back a little ways and I get in between the layers of the hem without sticking out, please. And uh, so you see, you can't see it on either side. So right now I've got the hook buried in there. Now when I do this, I end up with a perfect little spot. If you can see this right here, see that? Comes out there perfectly, right? So pull this in and pull it out. And then I just continue to bury it until it's all done. And when I do this and I come out in between bars like I did here, I make sure that I go back in in the same place that I came out with. So I don't end up with a loop outside of whatever. And I pull it and it's voila, it has disappeared. So literally, this sock is fresh off the machine. And there it is.